what I got paid from my first year on YouTube. Now, this is the first year being monetized. I'll explain, I'll give you a quick little backstory on exactly how long I've been doing YouTube. First of all, if you look at the page, it will say it started in 2012. I used to own a gym. A young member in there came in and said, why are you not on YouTube? And I said, I watch YouTube. I didn't know I should be on YouTube. He said, yes, you need to be on YouTube. We need to be posting YouTube videos from the gym and this, this, and this. And he, the guy made me made me a page. This was back in 2012. 2020, did I just say 2020? This was back in 2012, okay? So he made me the YouTube page and said, this is it, he was running it. We used to put a couple of videos on here and there. I've archived them now and I never use my page. Up until December 22. So just a little over a year and a half ago. Was it? No, one more. No, no, not literally a year, over a year and a half ago. Around about uh, 15, 14, 15 months ago, yeah. 15 months ago exactly to the day, okay? So what happened is, I said to myself, I started social media, I started TikTok, I started Instagram, and I was like, I need to get back my YouTube. So I got the YouTube channel. It was named under my gym name, which was Ayn Afli Gym. I changed it to Fadi Hussein, which is what it's called now. And I thought, I've got 300 subscribers. <laughs> Obviously, they were from like, God knows when, you know, just from having the having the page open for 10 years. The, the 300 subscribers were from there. But they soon obviously left when I started uploading every single day in December of 2022. December, and then January started, January 2023, I hit 1,000 subscribers. And I was like, okay, this is good. So technically, I only needed to gain 700 subscribers because I already had those 300. But I think those 300 kind of unsubscribed now anyway because they, they joined the gym many, many years ago. So first month, second month, hit my 1,000. Okay, not too bad. I was on around about 2,000 uh, watch hours at that point, 2,500 watch hours. I thought, okay, I need a couple of more hundred, uh, sorry, I need 1,500 more watch hours, 4,000 watch hours, and I can get monetized. So exactly one year ago, to the day today, exactly one year ago, this channel that you're watching now got monetized. And the one thing that I did, just the one thing that I said to myself was when I was gonna start YouTube was this. I'm an all in, all or nothing guy. I said I don't want to post once a week, twice a week, three times a week. I want to post one a day. Once a day. So sometimes it was twice a day because it was one YouTube video, one long-form YouTube video, and one reel that I made for Instagram. And I just repurposed that Instagram reel on my YouTube. It's very, very simple. So for those people who have many reels on Instagram, you can share them on your YouTube. It's very easy. And it goes in the real format and people can follow you and see you and find you from there as well. But I made it a point to post one video one educational video every single day for one year. And 365 days right till today, I have done that. If you see how many videos I posted, you will see that this guy is not bullshit. So in uh, 15 months, I've posted almost 800 times. So more than like, you know, twice a day, ish. Now I know you guys wanna know exactly what did I earn from this? You might be surprised or you might not be surprised, but I'm gonna be sharing with you. So right now, First of all, let, let, I'll tell you what, let's go. So you know exactly how many I've posted. I've posted almost every single day, once or twice a day. I have now gained 6,000 subscribers after one year of being monetized. One year being monetized, I've gained 6,000 subscribers. My total subscriber count right at the minute is 6,300. But like I said, I started my challenge channel on 300. So let's not count that 300. 6,000. I don't know if that's good. I hear some people, it takes them a year to get monetized. I hear it takes them a year to get 1,000 subscribers. Well, it took me just a little bit over a year to get 6,000. So I'm okay with that. I don't really give a shit. And to be honest with you, when I made YouTube, let me just tell you why I made my YouTube channel first and foremost, right? The reason why I made YouTube was, I looked at the fitness industry in the YouTube, especially when it comes to TRT and steroids and, and, and the biohacking, if you want to call it that. And I looked at it and thought, what a total load of shit. Like it's utter crap. It's bullshit out there. All the misinformation is out there just because guys have more subscribers than me. So I thought, how, how do I put my voice out there? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll start YouTube. And eventually if my YouTube channel goes, grows, and as you guys know, in this new age, this gives you credibility. The more followers you have, the more likes you get, the more subscribers you have, the more credible you are. Once you're more credible, you can get invited onto different podcasts, your guests at different places, and now you can put forward your opinions to the masses. You can eat that person's audience and eat that person's audience. But in order to go on, let's say, a big podcast, I have to be sworn myself. Now, I might be educated in this field. 25 years experience in this field. 
So if you are starting a channel, don't do something that you're not experienced in. I have got the be I, I am like the, the, the most qualified in this field. And that's why I've got the confidence to say this and to debate this with some of the quote unquote qualified guys in this field. And I will eventually get there. When, how long is it going to take? Who knows, you know? So first things first, you have to play by the rules as well when it comes to YouTube. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, YouTube doesn't allow this and YouTube doesn't allow... No, it doesn't, bro. But guess what? It's the only game in town. I know people can say Rumble's good. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't been on it. I haven't checked it out. I just thought, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this properly. I'm going to do it on YouTube. So here I am doing it 15 months in. 6,000 subscribers later. Followers. Is it subscribers? Followers. Yeah. Subscribers, isn't it? Okay. So post every single day in something that you are passionate about and that you want to do. You have to have an end product. The end product for me was to get on the big channels, to speak and to share the message of health and fitness the way I know and see fit. Because the thing that I see at the minute is utter bollocks. Okay. So let's talk about the money. Now, the money is very simple. I've changed mine to pounds. I know many of YouTubers have it in dollars because America's the gig in town. Now, I'm going to show you this, and hopefully YouTube does not block this, and I hope they don't, but you should be able to see a graph right there. If you can see it, if you can't, zoom it in. But I'm going to tell you, and I'm not going to bullshit, you can see the graphs from low to high. So I started my first day at one pound and three pence <laughs> for the revenue per day. One pound and three pence, okay? Now, my highest them days are now my lowest today, if that makes sense, 365 days later. So the graph is like this. It literally is like this. It's not the hockey stick yet, but it's like this. So when it was high, this is now a low day for me. Now, the lowest I've earned at the minute is like £3.40 per day is the lowest I'm earning at the minute. And the highest I'm earning at the minute is like £8 a day. So all in all, in my 12 months of being monetized on YouTube, drum roll, have a guess, I've earned. £1,200. That's it. Yeah. £100 a week. Uh, sorry, £100 a month. But of course, it's more now. Back in the days, it was like £50. 60. I think the first payment you get is like, it has to be £60, I think. It can't be less than 60 quid. They hold the money back. But averagely, if you average it out, it's around about £100 a month. But of course, now it's getting a lot more. So it's, you know, some months it was like £200. So it will, I'm, I'm sure it will keep growing. I'm sure it will keep pushing. As long as I keep posting, as long as you guys keep liking and sharing and subscribing, then of course my page is going to grow. So, you know, the YouTube thing, the money for YouTube, I don't think it is the best. I know back in the heydays of YouTube, guys were getting paid a bank, you know, that they could really make some serious change with. And it was a lot easier to grow back there those days. Not everybody, Sam Sulek of the fitness industry, you know, I'm definitely not Sam Sulek. I definitely haven't got that reach. I don't have a big Instagram following. I don't have a big TikTok following. I don't have a big Facebook following. You know, actually Facebook's quite big for me. It's like 55K at the minute. But the point is, I started off on zero. Every single thing, every single platform I'm telling you about, my Instagram is now on to 17K. It was still about 2,000 when I started. So posting definitely does grow your page. On all platforms, regardless, you know, I used to post my YouTube videos and share them on my Instagram and say, hey, if you guys, want, if you guys are interested in uh, learning about this, come over to YouTube. I don't do that as much anymore, but because I feel YouTube is the ultimate platform. I feel it is the best platform. There's nothing that beats it. And the interaction that you have with the guys, especially in your lives and stuff like that, is, is second to none. So, yeah, I mean, what can you learn from me? I'm not an experienced YouTuber. I've been doing this for a little bit over a year. My subscribers are okay. My money that I'm earning from it, it's okay. You know, it's not too bad. I'm getting paid for something. It feels like I'm getting something. Can I call myself a YouTuber right now? Probably not. Maybe if I was making like, you know, a decent wage from it, like 1,500 pound or 1,200 pound a month from it rather than a year, I would say, yeah, do you know what? I'm actually getting paid from YouTube and it's good. I don't even see this money going to my account, to be honest with you. But I know it goes through somewhere. So, so there you go. There's, it's very simple. Um, what can I, what can I give you? What advice can I give you about YouTube? Don't quit. Keep doing it every single day. That's my advice. If you can, pick a, pick a day. So, like, let's say if you're only going to post on Monday, make sure you never miss that Monday. No matter what happens, post in advance. And I mean, someone like me, you know, I'm quite a disciplined individual. If I say I'm going to post, I'm going to post. Simple as. So I might would I might record a video tonight and then post it tomorrow. That's how I was normally doing it. So every single day, I picked a time, 2 p.m., make sure no matter what happens, there's going to be a video going up. 
And I used to look at other channels and I used to say, well, this is wrong, that is wrong, I don't agree with this, and I used to make a note of it. Someone says, creatine adds 10 pounds of muscle in four weeks. I was like, nah, that's absolute BS. I used to make a note of that and I used to be like, right, creatine does not add 10 pounds of muscle because X, Y, and Z, whatever I felt my opinion was on. I didn't script anything, I don't write anything down. I still don't, as you guys know. That's just my style of doing things. Might not be your style of doing things. I don't have any pop-ups, add-ons, any cuts, takes, retakes, any of that. I'm just a speaker that likes to just talk. I don't do reaction videos or anything like that, but because I'm not good at editing. If I was good at editing, I'd love to have little pop-ups and say, this research paper over here says, if you sit in a sauna for three hours a day, then you know, I would love to do that kind of shit. But I'm a one-man show right now, guys. My thumbnails, by the way, are edited on Canva. I do not, to this day, look at any analytics. I don't give a shit about any, any analytics. The one thing that I can control is me. And the one thing I always said to myself as I'm doing, I'm going to keep posting until the subscribers stop coming in. And up to now, it's been okay. You know, the subscribers, every day I wake up, I see new subscribers. I see new followers. I see new comments. I see new likes. So I know something I'm doing is right. Everything's in the right direction. When do you get that exponential growth in YouTube that I've heard about? Who knows? I don't know. I'm just growing at my own pace. So the one advice I could give to everybody, or I've actually, I've already said the one advice is obviously post every day. Don't look at the likes. Don't look at the views. Don't look at the comments. Just post if you have passion about it. And at the worst, if, if you're a blogger, let's just say, for example, worst case, you have some amazing memories to share some amazing videos to look back at at a later time and say, you know what, we went to Turkey, we went to Thailand, we went to you know Indonesia, we went to Malaysia, we went to all these places, look, and we documented it, it's here, and it's nice to share. And you know, when your kids grow up, they say, oh, YouTube is not going anywhere. Well, there's the videos right there. I mean, I don't do any fashion or any travel blogging and you know anything like that. Maybe I should start to document my life a little bit more. Maybe that's the one thing that if I'd hire someone for, that'd be the thing that I would do, but yeah, so hopefully that is it, guys. Very, very simple video. That's what I've earned roughly around about £100 a week. Uh, a week? No, £100 a month. It's not my main source of income, not even close to it. But it's very good for me to get my knowledge out there, for people to look at and say, you know what, maybe this guy doesn't know a couple of things about TRT and uh, training and health and fitness and stuff like that. So that's what it is for me. I've used this platform for that. You can use this as a platform for you. You can use this as like, you know, this is, I'm not, I don't really care if anybody watches my videos. I'm just going to post them. And guess what? Chances are you might grow. I have no, you know, knowledge in tech. I have no knowledge in media. I have no knowledge in thumbnails. Uh, what do you call them? CRMs and CPMs. And I have nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. The one thing I'm knowledgeable about, nothing I'm passionate about, I'm sharing with you guys on a daily basis. But I just thought after a year of doing YouTube and being monetized on YouTube, I thought I should just make a YouTube video to say that, it's a grind, it's a slog, enjoy the process. Hopefully this video gave you some value. Comment down below, like, and please subscribe.